Hey everyone, it's Belinda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to rename and renumber sheets in your Revit file using a Dynamo script. It is surprisingly difficult to rename and renumber sheets in Revit. So I've created a script for you where you can make the modifications in an external Excel file and then bring that information back into your Revit model. I'm going to start off with a new Revit project. And the first thing I'm going to do is create three new sheets. I'm going to use the default naming and numbering. So they're going to be sheets A101, A102, and A103. And they're all going to be unnamed for now. The next thing I'm going to do is right click on schedules and quantities and create a new sheet list. This sheet list will hold all the sheet names and the sheet numbers. So you can see here the three sheets that are currently in the project now appear in this sheet list. The next thing I'm going to do is open up Dynamo and run the script that I made. You'll find a link to this in the description below. Now this script is divided into two parts and I've color coded them for clarity. The first part reads all the original sheet names that are currently in the project and then exports all of this data into an Excel file. Once you make the modifications that you need, the second part of the script then brings that Excel file data back into your Revit project and renames and renumbers all your sheets. Now, in order for the script to work, you need to download the BIMOF nodes package. So if you look under the available packages and just type in BIMOF nodes, you'll be able to download the first link that you find. Now that the package has been downloaded, I'm going to unlink the second part of the script and just run the first part, which I've highlighted in blue. So you can see that this part of the script ran successfully. I'm going to go through it node by node just to explain it to you. The first part of this uses the sheet from schedule node, which is part of the BIMOF nodes package. I've linked this to the sheet list that you see on the left. From the list of these three sheets, I separated them into two new lists, one with all the sheet names and one with all the sheet numbers. And then using the Excel write to file node, I exported this data into an external file called original underscore sheets. You can see I set the start point of the rows and columns to zero. So you see the information at the top left corner. So if we open up the original underscore sheets file, you see the same data that's currently in your Revit project. The next thing I'm going to do is make a copy of this original sheets file and I'm going to call it new underscore sheets. I'm going to rename the sheet numbers to D3011, D3022 and D3023. And I'm also going to change the name of these sheets to flow plan, RCP and elevation. Now I'm going to go back to my Dynamo script and I'm going to unlink the first part of the script and relink the second part. The first thing I'm going to do is just run it so you can see the changes were immediately made. All the three sheets are renamed and renumbered. So what does the second part of the script do? Using the Excel read from file node, I brought in the data from the new underscore sheets Excel file. I then created two new lists from that data, one containing all the new sheet names and one containing all the new sheet numbers. These two new lists were then taken into the sheet dot renumber rename node, which is another BIMOF node. And very simply, all the sheets are modified. It's a very simple script, but I found it saves a lot of time in the long run. You tend to make fewer errors renaming and renumbering things in Excel rather than in Revit. I hope you enjoy this and you find the script useful. Like I said earlier, you can find a link to this in the description below. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. And if you have suggestions for any other scripts I could share, please do let me know. Until next time, I'm Belinda. This is Automation and Building Construction. Thanks for watching.